Asia is home to 22 of the top 25 tallest buildings globally, with the remaining located in the USA. Even though such a disproportionately large amount of extraordinary skyscrapers is situated within a specific region, Asians don't think it's nearly enough. It is expected that by 2030, there would be a lot more remarkable buildings for tourists to witness. Welcome to Super Rich Daily, and today we're wondering what a future in Asia would look like. Gear up to be mind blown! Here's a sneak peek at some of the spectacular architectural masterpieces we might be seeing a few years down the road. Let's get into it. Number 10. Pertamina Energy Tower, Jakarta, Indonesia A 99-story, 523-meter-high tower created for the Indonesian state-owned energy company Pertamina was designed to carry the distinction of becoming the tallest landmark in Jakarta. The Pertamina Energy Tower is estimated to accommodate over 20,000 workers, and it certainly stands out from other tall buildings in the vicinity. As surprising as it sounds, height is not the key distinguishing feature of this incredible piece of architecture. In fact, it is designed to be, in the words of Skidmore, Owens, and Merrill, the world's first super-tall tower for which energy is the primary design driver. It's not a regular building merely for tourist attractions. Instead, it is designed to harness wind energy. The Pertamina Energy Tower has a sharp peak, resembling the petals of a flower. This unique design is specifically conceptualized to leverage wind energy, while the crown reveals a wind funnel that will harness the winds at the upper floors to generate power. Pretty resourceful, isn't it? Number 9. Golden Finance 117 Tianjin, China Here is an iconic 597-meter-high building being built in Tianjin, China, as part of the Golden Metropolitan Project led by Golden Properties Holdings. Upon completion, the tower is set to become the tallest in northern China and the world's third tallest building. Not only does the project aim for LEED Platinum certification, but it is also credited with having the largest construction area in the world. Its striking diamond-shaped crown, which will serve as an atrium with its glazed space, is intended to enhance Tianjin's skyline drastically. The plan also includes an indoor pool and delicate dining options that will provide guests with spectacular views. Its lean form resembles a walking stick. The sky gardens add to the aesthetics of the architectural plan and highlight greenery while allowing fresh air to add to the guest's experience. Number 8. Shimao Shenzhen Hong Kong International Center, Shenzhen, China Envision a 700-meter-high, mega-tall skyscraper that would snatch the attention of pretty much any onlooker, and you have the Shenmao Shenzhen Hong Kong International Center. The tower is set between the foothills of Longqing Park and the Dayun National Park, and is adjacent to several major sporting venues. It's not surprising that the building is also the main focus for every office and apartment within the development, potentially serving as a symbolic icon for the new district. This architectural landmark would be particularly delightful in the evenings, with visual, sound and light shows reinforcing the district's aesthetic and entertainment purposes. Its top has one of the world's highest observation experiences, and it's basically one of the most terrific places to have a view of Shenzhen and beyond. Number 7. Chengdu Greenland Tower Chengdu, China China really seems to have ambitious plans for the future when it comes to public places. Check out the Chengdu Greenland Tower, a 468-meter-high mixed-use tower being developed by the Chinese property developer Greenland Group. This mind-blowing skyscraper is the work of architects Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill and is on its way to becoming the tallest building in Chengdu and the fourth tallest in China. The shape of the tower is fascinating. The inspiration behind its prism appearance came from the ice mountain topography of Chengdu and its surrounding regions. The building will have the capacity to accommodate a mix of office spaces, a hotel, and a shopping mall in the form of an attached six-story podium building. If you're ever paying a visit to Chengdu, add this tower to the list of places you need to see. Number 6. Signature Tower, Jakarta, Indonesia Jakarta shines once again with its impressive proposition of the Signature Tower, an architectural masterpiece with a height of 638 meters. It's designed to become one of the tallest buildings worldwide, which naturally brings with itself numerous exciting and unique challenges. Once the construction is done, the Signature Tower will be the tallest building in the Southern Hemisphere, ranking at number 6 in the global list of tallest buildings. The main tower also houses three office zones with a 300-room six-star hotel. The 111th level has a viewing observatory to feel the essence of the surroundings. Add this work of art to the list of places you need to see when planning your vacation to Jakarta. Number 5. Hyundai Global Business Center, Seoul, South Korea 
A life's dream of the honorary chairman of Hyundai Motor Group Chung Meng Koo, the Global Business Center is set to become the country's tallest building, surpassing the Lotte World Tower. The original blueprint of the GBC was to build a 105-story tower that was 569 meters in length, with five facilities for exhibition, convention, and other performances. Unfortunately, however, as the pandemic drags on, there is increasing uncertainty in the automotive industry, and the group is left facing a dilemma over the construction of the planned building. Even if not in the immediate future, it's pretty sure that the world would love to see this concept materialize. Number 4. Warrison Merdeka Tower Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia Also known as PMB 118, here is a 118-story, 644-meter megator skyscraper currently under construction in the capital of Malaysia. The official name is Merdeka PNB 118, with Merdeka referring to Independence Day in Malaysian. PMB is short for Permodalan National Bahad, Malaysia's most prominent fund management company and the owner of the tower itself. The Merdeka Stadium, near which the building is being developed, is a historic landmark of Kuala Lumpur. The stadium has hosted numerous significant concerts, including two of the History World Tour held by Michael Jackson in 1996. When Merdeka PNB 118 is officially completed, the tower, along with the other two landmarks, the KL Tower and Petronas Towers, will be roughly standing on the same line. Now that's a place that deserves a spot on your bucket list. Number 3. Grand Rama 9, Bangkok. Thailand. Grand Rama 9 is a mega-tall skyscraper with ongoing construction, all set to become the tallest building not only in Thailand but the entirety of Southeast Asia. The words Rama 9 are taken from the name of the road which the tower will sit on. The road itself is named after the former king Rama the Ninth. This spectacular building stands at a height of 615 meters, which after completion will surpass the 314-meter-tall Mahana Koon, the current tallest masterpiece in the country. Grand Rama 9 does not contain any decorative spires on the top to increase its height. However, a parapet will top off the building, and from certain angles, the actual roof is also seen exposed. Another super-iconic building near the Grand Rama 9 Tower is the G Tower. With these two remarkable pieces of art in close proximity, it's sure to be quite the attraction for all sorts of tourists. Number 2. Nexus Tower, Shenzhen, China a supposed super-tall skyscraper designed by the group PLP Architecture, the Nexus Tower is planned to be built with a height of 595 meters. It will be located in Shenzhen and will be the centerpiece of an art complex. Situated at a famous junction within the central business district, the entire project comprises four buildings, one of which is the Nexus Tower. The other three include the Platform for Contemporary Arts, the LZ Park Tower, and the Concourse. Nexus Tower consists of three components of various heights, organized according to different points of reference. The lower volume has 44 stores in response to the park nearby. The middle one is raised 83 floors, while the upper has a total of 124 levels and is oriented towards the city. Number 1. Jeddah Tower Jeddah, Saudi Arabia Delayed yet again due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the construction of the Jeddah Tower is uncertain. But if it does succeed in the near future, it's going to replace the Burj Khalifa as the tallest building in the world. Designed by Adrian Smith and Golden Gill Architecture of Chicago, it is part of the more extensive development of Jeddah Economic City. It would be the first structure in the world to reach a one-kilometer high mark. Like the Burj Khalifa, the final height of the project hasn't been disclosed yet, but it's definitely something the world has been excitedly anticipating. The structure will also be home to the world's highest observatory, with a separate 98-foot diameter outdoor balcony. The building is so enormous that it's not possible to display the image in one rendering fully.